arm yourself with the microphone and give us an account of how do they call that in again that altar in Bovingo. and when it is many what what ambora vungu ambora is a plural form okay now for those of you watching from america from uh, uh, england uh, please be patient with us the word in our dialect that is used to depict this special kind of altar that has the capacity to produce demonic wealth there is no english counterpart of that word so please bear with us uh chief donatus can you call that word again in Vingo. and that is one that's singular so that's the word there's no english counterpart we even Collins Dictionary did not anticipate this matter. So they did not make provision for it in the English language. So we need to make reference to it according to the language in the dialect that had the stature to carry the meaning of the matter that we are raising here. So please bear with us. I will try as much as possible to interpret where there is grace. But sometimes there is nothing to interpret to. So we have to retain a native presentation. Okay. So, um, Chief Donatus, yes, sir. can you give us an idea of how that thing works? Because it's in the heart of the thief culture. It's a tool that is used, embellished with demonic power, and it is said to have the ability to make a man prosper. So, and uh, I've heard once ag and again, people fight over it. People fight in a certain family to be in custody of that material because of the potentials that it has in making his custodian exceptionally wealthy. And so can you give us, com come on stage so that they'll be seeing your face because Give us an account and I will, I will ask you a few questions. The issue of altars is not so far removed from our context. It's just that the people that have operated in the kingdom of darkness have utilized these concepts much more than we in the kingdom of God. So sometimes we will need to show us the example of that matter in the other kingdom and how it is practiced just to give us some form of enlightenment. And then we'll come to the real altar, which is the altar of God. Everything that Satan is doing and everything he does is a counterfeit. It's a counterfeit. He saw it done somewhere and he decided to transport and to import that technology into his kingdom. And he's using perverted principles, attempting to achieve the same results in his kingdom. Now, so can you give us an idea of this, how this thing works? Okay. Well, Bivungu is a spiritual thing. The deep people believe that is the God of prosperity. Now, the way so the ark they, no, was the way you to are the is too fast. It's too fast. And um, an Englishman, a native Englishman, there are many Englishmen that listen to us. Yes, the, a native Englishman may not be able to comprehend. It was when I started preaching to English people that I realized that eh, it's another language we are speaking or not. <laughs> so that's when I started dragging some words I speak because that's the only way I could get the attention of the Englishman. So the way you are speaking now, you are speaking to English tea people. But what we want now is to address English people. So first of first and foremost, be slow. Okay, sir. All right. The deep people believe that Ndovigo Yes, that thing he called, I'm running commentaries just so that you follow yes, sir. in the discourse. That name he mentioned is the name of the altar. And there is no English representation for it. Collins and Webster 
did not anticipate that there was a technology like that, so they did not make provisions in their dictionary for this, the name of this altar, okay? It's, it's called the God of Prosperity. Prosperity, the way the ark was to Israel, they believe that is how good you go east to them. Okay. okay. The way the ark came to the house of Babylon and was blessed. Okay. They believe that this is how if an individual or a group or family holds it, blessing will be we'll to come to in their custody. And I, now wait, okay. wait, wait. This thing, I don't know, is it a physical thing only he fell from hell, fell from the kingdom of darkness, Satan came and made it, transformed it from being a spiritual thing into a physical thing and gave up. What, what, what is it like? It's a spiritual reality that's been trapped in something physical. Okay, so sometimes, okay. The people we are teaching, people we are educating, don't have an idea whatsoever of this, these issues, these terminologies. We will need to be patient. Now, if you see the rain of questions on my Facebook inbox, rain of questions, it will take us maybe our lifetime to handle all the questions that have come. It's it's like a, it's a new area of 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 truth that we are trying to establish so that people, the sons and daughters of God, can become very efficient in this new area of truth. So we need to be. So, he said, it is a spiritual reality, but it is trapped in a physical thing. Now, um, those of you that are watching online, you may have heard of an idol before. An idol. An idol can be made of wood. An idol can be made of mud. Some idols are made of stone. Depending on the prescription of the spirit being that is giving you insight, into what is required in order to trap its dimensions down are you there okay now um um i want to show you how it looks like can you transmit this picture to where's philip okay transmit the picture to uh, pastor dan and pastor dan is going to transmit it to the media people and they will give us a picture of the kind of thing he is talking about please be patient with us i know you are aware of these things but i just realized when i checked the number of people that view our meetings it's so much so we need to be giving attention to the people that are online and most time when we carry on with our in our own way we don't really reach them out there all right so once upon a time i was in the city of zaria ministering and i met this young man and the young man came for counseling and he told me where he's from certain state in nigeria and he told me that he was in a very remote area and uh, he was going to fetch water from the stream I know those of you in the United Kingdom don't know what a stream is. It's a small body of water that flows, all right? And that's where our villages drink from. There's no pipe pump water, there's no borehole systems. They drink directly from the open stream. <laughs> you must have discovered why we are very healthy. It's because we've been exposed to all kinds of gems and the gems are now at home with our body. Okay? so because the other day my friend came from the united states to ghana and he could not drink bottled water that the bottled water was reacting with his stomach that there was only one type of bottled water in ghana he could drink that's the voltic voltic bottled water that was the only type of bottled water <laughs> hallelujah i don't want to comment on that but i'm just telling you that god has blessed us okay so this guy went to the stream to fetch water and then a spirit leaped out of the stream and suspended in the air and told him that, you see, we've been looking for you, we want to give you wisdom. Are you interested in our wisdom? He said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm interested, I'm interested. 
So they now gave him three alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him alligator pepper, sorry, those of you online, you may not know, there's one type of pepper that you don't find in the stores in the United Kingdom, in London. You don't find them in Cardiff. You don't find them in New York. You find them in Wuruku. So the next time when you show up for IEC, ask someone to get you a sample of alligator peppers. It's strange kind of peppers. And meanwhile, don't try it out. <laughs> the, the Lord gives you understanding. So they gave the guy alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him the pepper to eat was because he was in the flesh. They wanted him to, 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 to ascend. It's just like, you know, they need him high. So, and the pepper could do that as fast as possible. You can also achieve that with taking alcohol. You, you can ascend into the frequencies of darkness. Those songs that people that are drunk sing, they're actually hearing it. Eh? <laughs> the guys are actually hearing those songs. So it's not as if they're just singing out of nowhere. No, somebody is dictating a tune. The song may not have any relationship with the treble or the bass clef, but the song exists and it's being dictated to them and they are finding, uh, finding expression in the midst of that song. So they gave him the pepper and they, he, he went high in the spirit so they began to dictate to him how to set up a shrine and the technology they gave him is the kind of technology that mirrors the dimension the realm in which those spirits are found in the spirit realm so when you can mirror that dimension in the natural realm you can actually trap those spirits into that place where the shrine is so when chief said the thing is a spiritual reality and they found the technology to trap it in a physical material now so when you see an idol are you there the spirit is not always in that idol 24 hours a day the spirit only comes into that idol that idol is the technology i'm talking about and it's built to capture the dimension that the spirit operates so the spirits can be trapped in it, okay? So when they do incantations and do enchantments, the enchantments mean to give instruction to demons. So when they do enchantments, the demons now are trapped in those vessels, those vessels that are designed to contain them. Are you there? I know it's on the screen, just walk with me for now, okay? So. So those, those things, they are, depending on the spirit, the vessels that can trap them are different. Um, most of you don't know the dwarf spirits. Most of you don't know that. You don't know the lexicon of spirits. And today is not the day for that. But there are containers that are used to trap dwarf spirits. Uh, dwarf spirits are the most vicious me messenger spirits. And most of the people, unfortunately, in Africa, most of the people that go into politics use the services of these spirits. When we, when we come to talk about the lexicon of spirits, at least the ones I have seen in deliverance, in territorial warfare, there are not too many, but I've seen a few. And uh, the ones that operate here in this land, yes, I've seen a few of them. And the Lord has taught me what we need to do to disarm them. In fact, some of the breakthroughs we have had as a ministry is because of the fact that we disarmed so many of such spirits that have been released to hinder the advancement of the kingdom of God. But today is not the day. Okay, so what we are saying is that you can trap those realities within a physical context so that there can be interaction, there can be exchange, and there can be transaction. Is that clear? So if you are watching us now from anywhere in the world, this is the physical object that that reality can be trapped in. Meanwhile, Chief, what is this thing? Because this, this one now is physical. What is this thing? This, this physical thing. This one is, a, is, a, is an idol. This is an idol? Yes, sir. 
it's not that the picture is not white it's an idol it looks like this toy that baby is playing it looks like a baby doll baby, do, baby doll yeah and there are many of them it could be carved wooden image or sometimes they use this thigh bone okay the, 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 the thigh bone okay um, of a human being of a human being yeah so so they, they, they sacrifice and they then will, the reality can come into that yes bone. they will sacrifice somebody that has value the effect right, so, of so, so listen listen they'll sacrifice somebody that has value not just somebody walking around the streets no, 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 no. Just, then they just catch the person and kill no 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 the person is promising he has a bright destiny they have seen that if they allow him be he will turn out to be a great person so they sacrifice that person and then they use the blood they pour it and it's activated they pour it on this idol yes and, and it's activated the reality within it accepts that offering then it is activated and what will be the consequence from that moment okay. an ordinary person i cannot see it. this one the way we're seeing is because the powers have been deactivated That's now can see all right so the reason why we can see this one right here right now is because it's not yet been activated the moment it becomes activated it is invincible is that what you're saying yes sir. oh my and now so the next question family... i have for you because i believe a thousand and one uh, uh, people in our audience will be asking the same question how did they discover this technology because it's not in our physics textbooks it's not in the chemistry textbook uh, the two people believe that this came from a tulip tradition i don't know how to it is but it's oh, a foreign it means ball. that the so tulip people are technology. more advanced yes. in this technology who is an tulip man here a tulip i don't know whether it's that's true but i heard it came from Pastor Ephraim, what do you know about these things? Because they said they imported it from among your people. Um, so, those of you online, please stay with me. It is for most of you that studied in Cambridge and in, in Harvard, in Oxford. Um, you are not likely to believe what we are sharing right now but you are a victim of it even even though you are. in fact satanic power is more effective when you are absolutely ignorant of his presence and his potency that's the easiest way to be a perpetual victim your life will be shaped by it and you'll be unaware and you the life of your children and keeps going on until someone that is knowledgeable in the way of priesthood arises and sets up an altar that has the capacity to contend with the altar of the devil. Now, so, uh, Pastor Ephraim, yes, what do you know about? They said this thing came from a Tulu land. Not really from the information I have from my father, okay. who is from the other generation. He he told me that it came from the Crossovarian, mm. Crossover, the people that the T come. I'm down. seeing a lady from Crossover. She's already. We got lady, it from stand the... up, lady. Yes, I know. The way you reacted, I know you are from Boston. So he told me it has been imported by the tea people from the dam, which is crossing us. But the Tulu people also got it from the tea people. Okay. It seems that every, every ethnic extraction is denying the source of this so this thing you see here is not a small thing this thing is not a small thing. this thing you see okay sister from crossover do you know anything about this which part of crossover are you from do you know anything about this this technology okay the one i know is not really about prosperity it doesn't it's, it's not prosperous okay it doesn't prosper people no but so why it... what does it do it's just giving to a family to be powerful. Like they are just powerful over every other person. Powerful in what sense? Powerful politically, powerful like, intellectually, powerful financially. Not financially, it's just you can, it shows you have power. You are not safe. The product of an altar is not, is not an illusion. When an altar is brought into a matter, 
there's there are practical solutions that you see on the ground it's not an illusion when you say power what are you talking about yeah. she's not so the, def the definition she's giving suit this because you'll be powerful you'll be powerful yes politically if you contest there are, there are i know seven it, corridors it, of power yes there's intellectual power there's financial power there's political power there's spiritual power are you there me i have spiritual power huh and it goes on like that seven corridors of power and what you are saying doesn't suit any this, of these this corridors. particular one they are the ones that are made the chief of the community is that not political power okay. if you are the chief of the co community do you need more money you just come up with a policy and say all of you bring money <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for okay it depends, depends on what, what you're looking, looking for yes okay. if you're looking for money money will come if you're looking for politics okay, if okay. okay. Yes. positions in politics power yes yes um what's your name virginia virginia all right so you can turn in the microphone so you were giving us a very deep they believe so the when it is believe, serviced, it disappears. It disappears, and uh, it only appears when it needs they want to kill. Want to? What do you mean by to kill? For instance, if they want to kill somebody and the person is not available, okay, or maybe the person who want to kill is having some level of compassion for the for, for the, the person. Thing. Yes, they, they want to lure kill. you to come in. Maybe they will send you go to so and so place, open so and so bag. And pick something there and then bring for me and as you get there the thing will appear appear and then it snaps you as it snaps your picture there's nothing I, I only know of two people that escape that that okay wait, wait. i mean brethren wait i'm wait. not talking about unbelievers we're already brethren. confused we're already confused just like satan carries a canon camera snapping people yes <laughs> <laughs> We have seen the original canon. <laughs> yes, sir. So, so it takes your picture. Takes your picture. Oh, that's when he begins to look for how to kill. He'll look for a way to kill you. Either ah. by accident. Sometimes some of the accidents that happen actually is not accident. They already killed you already. And then you are just... Uh, Circumstances shoot. and situations. Just to stage money now something and then they call this accident. Translate and effect the thing that has already been accomplished in the realm of the spirit yes all right so after this sacrifice what are the symptoms that you begin to find what is the effect of the sacrifice what uh, what happened is that the sacrifice is yearly either yearly depending on the, the covenant is either yearly or maybe after three months or four months somebody will go down and it's them just the way you were teaching the other time they are the one to choose who should be killed. You can't just go and kill a drunkard. And all. They prefer graduates in the midst of illiterates because that will add more credit if I graduate. I heard that the value of a graduate is like 10 people put together. Okay, the value of an intellectual, the so, value of a graduate is like 10 novices put together. Put together, yes sir. And once somebody is I killed... Think at that point, we need to say the Lord have, made, the Lord have mercy. Once the blood is poured and is activated, what happens is that they make a cantation and they will choose one person from the family that will be very powerful. So the impact, every other person, the yes, impact of all of that ritual that is done will be channeled in the life of one person. And you'll be very prosperous. It now, happens now that's, just like the ark in Obedidot's so, house. So, so, within so a short the, period of time. That's the aspect that I want us to really dig into. Yes, How that man becomes prosperous the spiritual power to empower him to prosper has been released. Yes, sir. Now, does he just sit at home and prosper? No, 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 no. He or must be doing something. He must be doing something. Even if his granite is selling. Even if his granite is selling, he will people. prosper and become big. The governors will be coming there to buy. Yes. I'm just trying to open your eyes to see when we say you have set up an altar. You cannot set up an altar in fact are you there and do nothing and expect that something will come out of nothing that's not how it works and that's why the bible says whatsoever he lays his hands upon 
to do it shall prosper the spiritual dimension the spiritual possibility the spiritual potential has been unleashed but you will need to translate it into goodwill into performance by laying your hands on something so there is a work aspect there's a work aspect so okay does this thing expire um it does it have does, a chef life it does not according to what i been told is that uh, an individual does not own it okay even if you desire to prosper you kill somebody or you have an a wooden image you got a wooden image and then you kill somebody and activate it as soon as you activate it it disappears and it's a community that owes it oh. community of witches that's what the fifty people call it here is a community of witches even if you yes. go and buy it bring it and you say you want to run private practice it might even disappear from your hand and it will disappear from your hand and as soon as you activate in, it in the community of which yes so they control it they determine who holds it and it's like this is where the democratic principles in Tivland came from this is what this thing they call yana wang bang each wait, up wait, and give wait, your wait, brother wait, 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 wait. this is you are, you are talking to english men okay <laughs> <laughs> That dimension you went. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen. I'm tempted to talk about witchcraft, but I resist the temptation. Can you see that this type of empowerment is stirred, is controlled by the community of witches? There are many of you that cannot understand your warfare. And most times you want to fight your warfare alone you are not capable and that's the reason why we hold corporate services is because your warfare began from a community of witches it will take a community to contend with the community and that's why spiritual warfare in the book of ephesians chapter 6 he say we wrestle i just spoke with a sister of ours she went to study in the united kingdom and suddenly this this cycle of depression begins to hit her and all of that and then she reports i said sister there is a coven close to where you are schooling and the sparrows are being casted on the entire community i know you are keeping your own prayer watches but it seems you pray alone she said yes i said you know your own prayers and individual as powerful as it is cannot counteract a conclave of witches the context must be the same in the case of the administration of an altar to shield you from the effect of another altar if it was set up by an individual then your own individual altar you get that and that's the reason why we come you know to come here for 40 days i know i know you are spending money for transport there's a lot of that that's going underground but um, the collective benefit from gathering like this together and the spiritual power that we can muster on the strength of this corporate gathering makes it worth all the while and there are many of us that have come here just for a good worship service and you did not know that you were already the you were the the photographer the spiritual photographer had snapped you and there are many of them and you can bear witness that we have been able to pick out of the congregation and break that hold of satanic photography from. you must understand that there is something called a community of wishes they influence the lives of people in territories influence the lives of people in families and it is always a corporate satanic effort and that's why we need to also have a corporate divine community that we maintain a corporate altar now so so uh, the, the person must do something yes sir in order for the goodwill that has been generated to translate into finances to translate into the greatness that uh, that community of witches have bestowed upon him now my question is does he pay any form of taxes or royalties to the community of witches that have picked him out of the pool of men and 
and have decided to empower him. That one, maybe the Adunis spiritual is not something I'm aware of, but I know that. <clears throat> and it's, it's rotational. It's rotational. So rotational. they can decide that uh, you've used it for seven years. Uh, your time has expired. Let us hand it over to someone else or another clan. Yes, and normally somebody must die. See, in order to activate Before, it for that clan, somebody yes. from that clan will die. To and take it from you, somebody must die. Oh, to and take it from place you, where they are taking it to, <laughs> somebody will die there too. Before, all right. So you must have heard in the lecture. You must have heard in the lecture that the dialect that the spirit realm can understand is called what? Sacrifice. I heard that where it's being kept. Sometimes they dig the ground and put it there. Some are inside a tree. Some are kept. They carry it in their body. It's, it's being kept in different places. Like the one that my pastor went to pray for. pastor was praying for uh, the man. And then his eyes opened. His, look, it was the man that came to him and said that he has I have one. Ago. He I has have, one. Okay. And the thing is killing people and now he has gotten born again. He doesn't know what to do. So the pastor prayed for him. He told the pastor that he's being kept, his own is being kept inside a mango tree. Okay. And so he prayed for him. And after the prayer, the power of God picked him and he was slain. And then the pastor told him that that mango tree would die as a sign that the powers of the devil has been deactivated. And actually that was what happened. So they have different places that where they, they kept them. But what I heard is that if it's kept under the ground, mm. that royalty thing that you talk about, this a kind of money that they that come is. there occasionally to you know, drop. The I lesser aware, denomination. I'm aware that you must pay for Yes, that. this kind of money that they come there and, you know, and drop. And where was it that we went to? I forgot the name of the city. Somewhere in Europe. And there's a fountain where people go to drop money. Uh, one of our friends took us there, um, Pastor Emmanuel. Uh, Philip, if you have the poster for Pastor Emmanuel, you put it on at the end of my service, my sermon. And so Pastor Emmanuel took me there, and people come there and. Uh, they say it is said that if you two people are in love, they go there and throw coin and make covenant. If you see the number of coins that I met, <laughs> may the Lord help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you know that you went and did something, love covenant, you took blood, you say, raise your hand now. Now that we have come. On this covenant, love cup. Okay, okay, so there's no. So there's no. All right. So, you know, this is the house of God. Don't hide. We may not come this way again for another three years. You you did a love covenant with a lady, and you promised her that you, you two of you will marry. All right, so we'll pray for you and break that thing off your neck before the end of this meeting. The name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Yes. Any other final comments uh -huh. on this matter? Well, this is. As I said earlier on, some they are in animals. They hide them in animals. No, no, no. Something like there's something they call are you. Ayu is, is a controversial demon that is a mermaid, actually. Ayu is... Mermaid. Is it mermaid? Manati. Manati. Manati, yes. Down here is fish. Up here is a woman. A human being. Let me say human being. Up here, human being. It's a fish. Down there, fish. Up here, human. Wait. I think we are saying different things. Is it... Are you talking about a mermaid? Yes. Is it real? It's real. If you go to zoo here, this uh, Benue State Zoo, you see the skin where the, the one that was killed, the skin, you see it. I, I saw it. They we are going me. there tomorrow. Okay, okay. sir.
Can I throw some light on that? Please, all the light, all the light. Throw. <laughs> a mermaid is different from manatees. Okay, manatee. Okay. Manatees is a fish. Right. But it has this mystery about it that when you get a head, you know it has some strands of hair. It has some strands of yes. hair, yes, yeah, that's true. Once you get it and make a sacrifice, it will have the same effect like that. Uh, oh, like this That thing. is what I'm talking yes. about, yes, sir. So people catch that fish and they use the head. Yes. Once you go to a fisherman and they, you know they, they, they have caught this one, you will buy. But okay. once blood is offered uh, on it, okay. it becomes very potent Jesus. in attracting prosperity. You, you know that it's only when we get to heaven that we'll know, we'll understand many things. But let us have sufficient understanding to disarm Satan while we are here. No wonder they killed that one in the zoo. Okay, yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Before we knew it, the one in the zoo, because when I was small, we used to go to the zoo to, to see the manatee. Then only for me to come back when I started schooling the university here, there was no more manatee here. It's dangerous, sir. It's dangerous. Because anybody can come there and steal it. I use it for all right. It's very dangerous. Right. Now put your hands together for so you don't have to So the idea of the altar is to get and to be able to access the power that the spirit being has and to propel that power for good. Okay? To propel that power for good. Now the Bible says, You shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to make wealth. To make wealth. It means that Jehovah has and meanwhile the bible also says that the blessings of the lord it make it rich and it added no sorrow to it. the reason why it adds no sorrow is because the holy ghost is the original spirit that is designed to make us wealthy see if you if you access a wrong spirit to make you wealthy it may be able to make you wealthy but it will add his own, his own native, his own native signature will be added on your life. You there? If it's originally a spirit of barrenness, a fertility spirit, it will impart barrenness and bless you with barrenness in addition to what you sought from it. But the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord it makes rich and it adds no sorrow. So. The man that is into business, the man that is into politics, the man that is into ministry, the man that wants to ascend in his career, must know how to set up an altar in his business, set up an altar as the heart of his political endeavor, set up an altar in that area of endeavor in order to channel the power of God and to use the power of God as the driving force of that establishment. Now, so what happened to Obededon was that the ark was deposited in his compound for custody. They did not tell him how to relate with the ark. They did not tell him how to function with the ark. In fact, he was not educated. Everyone, everyone wanted to leave the scene of the death of Uza and go as far as possible. He did not have a choice in the matter. If not, he would have requested that the act should not be deposited in his compound. Now that it was a royal decree that was responsible for positioning the act in his compound, he now realized that, okay, I can as well benefit from it. So I, I told you that the dialect of, of priesthood, the dialect of that spirit can understand is the dialect of sacrifice. So I can imagine that this guy, Obed Edom, sacrificed to them. He began to honor the 
presence of God. Began to honor the presence of God. Yeah, he was doing it regularly. Then the effect of what he was doing began to affect every aspect of everything that he did. Now, I have a friend in Abuja. And this, my friend, decided to start a fellowship in his office. He's the MD of his office. And his office is in a very business side of Abuja. It's in that, uh, it's a business side. So what I mean by that is that there are no residential buildings close to the area because it's fully a business uh, estate. So he set up a fellowship in his office. So no matter the business you want to bring to the office, forget about it. If it's on Friday and it's um, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., forget about that business. In fact, he went as far as importing equipment from the United States of America to make the worship experience very fluid. The sound is powerful. So, anytime I find myself in Abuja on Friday morning, I hop into that. And, and I, I tell him, I'm not coming here to preach, so don't even look at me. Because they do some, some very powerful prayers from that, you know, so I just soak myself. And he has some worshippers. I don't know where he got those, those. When they begin to sing, it's something else. So, it is easy for me to inquire of the Lord. The things that I'm asking God about, it's easy for me to get a feedback on that atmosphere. So I cherish that fellowship so much anytime I'm in Abuja. So we hop into the place and I hide by one corner and I just enjoy the worship. I enjoy the prayers and I get answers for myself. All right, so, and that's all. I don't want to do anything. And I told him, I don't want to do anything. I just, I just, I just enjoy. Then we now started noticing something. Because in that company, part of what they do is that they give out loans and then they re recover the loans with an interest. Okay? Then this occultic woman now shows up. And he collected the loan without any intention to pay. And the reason for which he had the audacity to do that was because she was in league with several demonic altars that were very potent. So they went to court. And the lady has a relationship with the judges. And you know how terrible it can be. Do you know that that, my friend, was the only man that lady could not defeat? The altar they have been praying on, worshipping on, in that office. The presence of the Lord that they revered on that, in the platform of that office, went to, I saw it with my eyes. Terrible woman. The presence of God that they've been acknowledging in that office arose, and I saw the hand of God in court. And this altar brought that woman down to nothing now the kind of business if if you if you ask me i will not do that kind of that kind of business if you ask me but as as terrible as the business looks from your perspective as an analyst as an accountant hey they are making profits they are surviving not because the idea of the business is tight The day he steps down from that place and say he's not he's not running this business again. Give that business three months. It no longer exists. What is keeping it is the old. So my question to you, businessman, businesswoman, my question to you, uh, if you if you sell in the market, you have uh, trade trade out outlets here and there. Is is there any time? on that your platform 
that you shut down and attend to God. Our cousins on Friday, when it's time for prayer, it doesn't matter the business that you bring because all of their business outlets submit under the authority of the altar that they respond to. So that's the reason why sometimes they are very strong in business. It's because they have exalted the altar that they subscribe to higher, over, and above their business. But for a believer, it is difficult for him to have a routine that is going to exalt his altar much more than his. This, my friend, they bought equipment. You need to see where is Smith. I think Smith, you have ministered. Is Smith in this? You have ministered there before. So that fellowship is so serious that they invite Smith to come on Friday. A very, very corporate environment to come and hold worship. And do you know because the environment is corporate, the kind of people that you see come there are not you find the kind of people that is in the shape of the environment. And sometimes the attendance is so much that they don't know where to put people. I told him, why are you still here? Move this thing to another location. And people are looking forward to Fridays. Do you know that that man decided that, okay, once a month, let them do night vigil in that office. And corporate people will come do night vision. They will stop it almost to the break of day. Some will sleep for one hour and from there go to work. office. They put the name of the Lord on that office. And I've seen the way God has fought for that business. It is not natural. It is not natural. And I was challenged. I'm not a businessman, but what I saw in that outlet provoked me to study the Bible. Because if they are doing this thing and it's working, it means it was in the Bible, but we didn't see it. And I found out that that's the same thing that happened when the Ark of God was brought into the estate of Obed-Edom. The Bible says that everything that pertained to him began to prosper. Are you there? Everything that pertained to him began to prosper. So once upon a time, I now realize that if I'm going to grow in the healing and anointing, the prayer I pray, the one you pray for me, and all of that will not be enough. So, there was a need to do something even more bold, more deliberate than what I can do. Set up an altar. The Lord gave us an instruction on how to set up that altar, and the details of that altar, I cannot share it in public. The thing I noticed after we began to obey what God instructed is that I feel whenever I'm ministering, it has not come, but it will come if I pray some prayers. The hand of God, do you know the experience of having the hand of God on your head? Do you know what I'm talking about? All right, so that's, it's under that cloud I minister now. The hand of God is upon my head. If I decide some things are up to me now, not up to God. If I decide that, what I want now is, I want to be knowing things about people, and I want to know it for two hours. It's going to happen. Because the hand of God, those days, I will come with an anointing and minister, and the anointing will go down. You, you understand what I'm talking about? It will diminish as you are ministering, so you need to go and fill up. I no longer have those experiences. I'm plugged into heaven. What I'm talking about here 
is that we need to be more intentional. Somebody says he has, a, he's looking for a contract that is worth um, 57 billion naira. And he cannot set up an altar, a 24 hour altar, that will ensure that that contract passes. All right. I'm sure you have been blessed. Welcome again to another session of this video. This is a review session. This is Firefest channel and this is a commentary channel. Please make sure to comment, give give a comment, say something, say something that you've learned in the video and the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. So we've seen this video and uh, in fact it's a lot, a lot, a lot about a lot about altars and Apostle has been trying to show us show show us that we should not be physical i mean we should not take things in the physical side alone do you get it and i i, I made mention of something in the previous video you know witches and wizards all these dark powers and demonic powers they know like what they are doing they do it with full force with full faith like they want to get the result from it it's only the physical man i am on serious christian that takes things physically even to your business set up an altar you don't just leave the matters of an altar to a pastor to an apostle to someone that is a, a maybe a leader of an organization or a church no are you setting up a business by yourself do you have a small career you are doing for yourself do you have a small prospect a small skill see people in your marketplace people around you not some of them are not standing ordinarily people in politics okay even as a student you, some students are doing school politics, some students are doing all kinds of leadership skill, leadership entrepreneur skill. Do you get it? It's not a physical work, it's a spiritual activity. Or else you get to that office and you'll be frustrated. So a serious Christian, a serious believer, you are not meant to take things just lightly, okay? Uh, you enter this place, you 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 are not even conscious of any spiritual thing. I pray the Lord bless you and give you understanding in the name of Jesus. So these things are meant for us to practice. Set up an altar. Pray. Have a schedule of prayer. Do you get it? Many religions out there, they, they have a schedule of prayer every day, every season, every time. And it is structured. Whether they are having exam or not. Whether they are having uh, recession or not. Whether they are having hard time or not. Whether it is raining or whether it is in dry season. No matter the season. They have a structure of prayer. But little Christians have a structure of personal prayer for themselves. And it will make their altar to be weak. See, if a demon understands what he's doing. He can wield authority and power more than a Christian thinking that oh i have faith in god i have this and that but if you don't have an altar you won't have a voice to speak and demonic power can overcome so these are lessons for us i'm not just listening to this i'm sure you are watching this video not because uh you, you, you want to play with things you don't want to play with life no because you want more results in life that's why you're watching this video and i would like you to hack on it to work it out serve god as if as if as if you are sure that if you call upon him, he will answer. If you put out on a business, his hand will be there. Everything you do will prosper. Serve him like, 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 like the way this, this, like very, very seriously. As if you know that he's the only one. He has power to prosper with what you do. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm sure you have been blessed. Do well to subscribe to this channel. God bless you.